Clevis Pin with Hole A clevis pin is a quick release pin used in a rapid release application. Each pin contains a hole to allow a hair cotter pin to secure it into place. In addition, there is a flat head on the other end. Insert the pin through the hole, and when the pin comes through the other end of the application, insert the hair pin through the hole in the tip of the pin. To remove, pull the hair pin out of the clevis pin and pull the clevis pin out. Clevis pins are composed of a 15-digit smart part code. All important attributes of the pin are broken up into categories and listed out on the part code guide. Follow the color-coded guide to translate the description into an innovative component's part number. Located at the bottom of each guide is the layout of the smart part code. Use this to guide you when you're creating a part number. To start, take notice that the product listed in the red section is a clevis pin. All clevis pin part numbers will be a two-digit designator taking up the very first two spaces. All clevis pins will start with a CP. Next, we move on to the orange section labeled pin diameter. All but one pin diameter will be listed within two digits in spaces number three and four of the part code. Each fractional diameter translates into a two-digit designator, with the exception of a 3 16 diameter, which will be listed out using three digits in spaces number three, four, and five. In cases of a 3 16 pin, we simply move the rest of the part code over by one digit. When we get to the specials in purple, we reduce the special space allotment by one to recalibrate and keep within the 15-digit part code. Example, 3 16 diameter equals 3 16 on the part code format, whereas a quarter inch diameter becomes a 4x within the part code format. Next we move on to the green section called effective, usable, or grip length. There are four places allocated to this attribute located in spaces number 5, 6, 7, and 8 of the part code. The first digit is a whole number in space number 5. Imagine as if there is a period after the first whole number. Spaces number 6, 7, and 8 are saved for any decimal places. If a pin is 4 inches in grip length, you would see 4, 0, 0, 0 here. Imagine 4, period, 0, 0, 0. If a pin is 2 and a half inches in grip length, you would see 2, 5, 0, 0 here. Or imagine 2, period, 5, 0, 0. Next, we move on to the blue section called adjustable. There is one space allocated to this attribute. If the pin has multiple holes, add an 8 in space number 9 of the part code. If the pin has a single hole, enter a dash here. Next, we move on to the purple section called Specials. We reserve four spaces, number 10, 11, 12, and 13 for this attribute for all diameters except 3 16 We always use three grade 16 16 diameter pins or two only have three spaces available for specials using grade spaces number 11, 12, steel and 13. In our line of work. Typically, if an the material X will be entered into any space eight, articulating that, that there is something special or custom about this particular part if there is something special or custom about the part. An X tells the team to review the part's description or the part's blueprint to identify what is special about it. In cases where there is something special to note, enter an X in any one of the places available. Enter dashes in the rest of the spaces. In cases where there is nothing special to note, enter all dashes in spaces number 10, 11, 12, and 13. Next, we move on to the future attribute called pin material. This section is in regards to what type or what grade of material the pin is made out of. We allocate one space holder in space holder number 14 for the material of the pin. Common materials are listed out. The standard steel or grade two steel becomes a two in a part code, whereas a grade five steel becomes a five in a part code. Lastly, we move on to the gray attribute called plating. Plating is a coating of metal used to serve as a rust inhibitor. We reserve one space in space holder number 15 for the plating of the pin. Common platings are listed out. We do not ever plate stainless steel, so in cases of a stainless steel material pin, we would use a zero for plating, also known as plain. Zinc or clear zinc is a popular plating of this type of pin, so you will often see a one in this placeholder. Now that we know how to use the part code guide, let's move on to the practice quiz and put it to use. Clevis pin quiz. Number one, 3 16 by three clevis pin in steel, zinc, and yellow. Let's take a look at the part code guide. For starters, clevis pins will start out with a CP in the beginning of the part code. Next, we move on to pin diameter. 3 16 translates to 3 1 6. Remember, when we have a 3 16 diameter pin, Everything else will shift over by one. The effective length is three inches. 
three, zero, zero, zero will be entered into the effective length area. Imagine three period zero, zero, zero. Next we have the adjustable section. This description does not state that the pin is adjustable, therefore we just put a dash. Then we move on to the special section. The description does not call out anything special. So again, we will enter dashes, dash, dash, dash. Then we move on to the fuchsia section for pin material. Number one says steel, zinc, and yellow. So steel, also known as grade two low carbon steel, is our standard steel for this pin. We would place a two in the fuchsia section. Lastly, we move on to plating. Zinc and yellow is the plating for this pin. Zinc and yellow translates to a two in the part code guide. Number one will read CP316-3000-0. Dash, 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 two, two. Remember, we had to drop one of the specials places to make up for the 316 that shifted everything over one. Number two, quarter by three and a half adjustable clevis pin in Rojas compliant steel. The part code will start out as a CP. Then we identify the diameter. Quarter is your pin's diameter. A quarter translates to 4X. Then we move on to the effective or usable length. Three and a half inches is the effective or usable length. So we would enter in three, five, zero, zero into the part code. Then we would add an A for adjustable because this description says it's an adjustable clevis pin, meaning it has several holes within the pin. Then we move on to the special section. If there is nothing special to note, which in this case there is not, we enter four dashes dash, 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 dash. Then we identify the pin material. In this case, it's standard steel. We always use grade two steel, or two in the part code, unless otherwise specified. Grade two is the most commonly used steel in our line of work. If the material is grade five or grade eight, that detail will be specified in the description. So we would enter a two in the fuchsia section. Lastly, we move on to plating. Plating is Rojas compliant steel. Rojas compliant steel is a steel that is environmentally friendly and free of lead. Rojas compliant steel translates to an R. Number two's part code would read CP4X3500A dash 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 2R. Number three, 5 16 by 4 and 3 quarter clevis pin in grade 5 steel zinc plating. The part code will start out as a CP. Then we identify the diameter, which is 5 16 5 16 translates to a 5X. Then we move on to effective or usable length. 4 and 3 quarters would translate to 4, 7, 5, 0, or imagine 4 point seven five zero. Then we identify if the pin is adjustable or not, and in this case, the pin is not adjustable, so we would enter a dash in the adjustable field. Then we move on to the specials. There is nothing special to note, so again, we enter four dashes, dash, 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 dash. Then we move on to the pin material in the fuchsia section. This pin is a grade five steel. Grade five steel translates to a five. Lastly, we move on to plating. Plating is zinc. Zinc is also known as clear zinc, which is a number one. Number three's part code will read CP5X4750 dash 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 five one. Please finish the rest of the quiz using the part code guide. Thank you.